In this video, we will demonstrate how to wire an EPIC HA3 series rectangular connector. The total assembly time should take about 10 minutes. In order to wire your EPIC HA3 connector, you will need the following components and tools. In this example, we will be using a 16 gauge three conductor cable with ground. You will also need wire and jacket stripping tools, a contact crimp tool, both standard and torque screwdrivers, and an adjustable wrench. First, prepare the cable by stripping the outer jacket to the appropriate length. The jacket should be stripped back enough to allow you to easily terminate the individual conductors, but not so much that the jacket is stripped past the hood's gland when assembled. For Epic HA3 housing, 3 fourths of an inch is sufficient stripping length. Once the outer jacket is stripped, remove the filler element, if there is one, with wire clippers. Next, the individual conductors need to be stripped to accommodate the wire ferrule. Measure the length of the ferrule to determine how much of the insulation to strip. 3 8 of an inch is a common stripping length for contact termination. After marking the conductors, use a wire stripper to remove the insulation. To attach the ferrules, simply place the wire into the ferrule. You should be able to see the wire at the end of the ferrule. If there is not enough exposed wire in the ferrule to do this, strip the insulation back further. Now crimp the ferrule to the wire using the crimping tool. Repeat the process with the remaining conductors. Slide the EPIC HA3 panel mount base and the terminal cover onto the cable. Make sure the base is facing the right way around for the final application. Loosen the terminal screws on the insert in order to accommodate the conductor ferrules. Insert the conductors and tighten with a screwdriver. Follow this with a Torx screwdriver set to 2.7 inch pounds. Repeat for the remaining conductors. All EPIC rectangular inserts are numbered for accurate and consistent wiring. The ground terminal is also marked. Insert the conductors accordingly. This is important to maintain a connection between the numbered contacts of the plug and the correspondingly numbered contacts of the receptacle. Slide the terminal cover back over the terminal screws. Install the insert into the panel mount base with the mounting screw holes aligning. Secure everything in place with the screw. Now we will wire the EPIC HA3 plug. Begin by sliding the EPIC HA3 hood on the cable. Next, prepare the cable as outlined previously. Strip the conductors, affix the wire ferrules, and insert the conductors into the HA insert. 
Once the insert is wired, slide the terminal cover over the terminal screws, install the insert into the hood, and secure with the screw. The amount of outer jacket to strip is very important for creating a proper environmental seal between the hood, gland, and the cable. Outer jacket stripping lengths are influenced by a number of factors, and it is difficult to determine the exact amount to remove in every case. Avoid removing too much of the jacket, as this may prevent a proper seal. For the Epic HA3 hood, we suggest stripping 25 millimeters of the cable jacket. Ensure that the cable jacket is properly inserted into the hood gland to form a seal. Tighten the gland nut with an adjustable wrench. Your Epic HA3 rectangular connector is now wired and assembled.